going to make a doll room inspired by Wonder Woman using poster board, scrapbook paper, tape, fabric, a recycled cereal box, and glue. I start by building the room using two pieces of poster board. I take each one and fold it in half, then fold it in half again, unfold it, cut down the center fold, stopping at the center of the poster board so the bottom sides can be overlapped to make a folding doll room. Repeat to make two. When the two folding corner rooms are side by side, it makes a larger room. To connect the two walls, Lay the poster board down, stack them good side to good side, lining up the edges. Take a long piece of tape, place it halfway over the edge, and wrap it around to the other side. I only place the tape on the side for the wall and not the floor. This way the room will be able to fold up for easy storage later. Set the room back up to see a large open space. Looking at this Wonder Woman's uniform, we see red, blue, silver, and gold. So we are going to try to pull some of these colors into the room. I'm going to start with the red. Let's use a red brick on the wall and this red and white wood grain for the floor. Ooh, and some windows would be nice as well. Before I glue down my paper, I take a ruler and a pencil and sketch out a design for the window. So I made three lines for two sets of window panes and I made a curve going across at the top. Use the ruler to draw lines to make panes and a trim between them. I have folded my poster board so here is the center of the room, the side we taped. I am going to use an X-Acto knife to cut through both layers of poster board at the same time. And remember to always have adult supervision when working with sharp objects. If you do not wish to use an X-Acto knife, you can always use scissors. But I like to use an X-Acto knife because it gives a nice clean line. And because I can cut two windows at the same time. Carefully remove the poster board to get two windows the same size. I take some gold foil scrapbook paper, place it behind the window, cut out the panes, remove the cutouts, trim around the edges to make gold trim for the window. Before I glue this down, I cover the walls with scrapbook paper. Then I glue down the frame, cover the floor with scrapbook paper to make our red room with a touch of gold. Now we are going to make a bed using a recycled cereal box and cardboard. Start by cutting off one side of the box to make a tray. Trace the sides onto a piece of cardboard, cut on the lines drawn, and glue them inside the box to add strength. Cover with paper, take the cutout and cover it, glue it inside, Cut and cover another piece of cardboard, glue it into the box, print printables from our dog gamer room, cut them out, and glue them onto cardstock. Cut around the outer edge, fold on the lines between the screens, glue it into the box, glue the keyboard onto the cardstock, cut it out, leaving a large tab at the bottom, fold it going back so the keyboard will be on an incline. Place it inside the box underneath the monitors and I'm gluing everything in place to help keep it a little neater. I made a stool from our doll science lab table video. I'm gluing a piece of silver paper on top to bring in the color from her silver bracelets to make a hidden office for her to contact the Justice League or to do her homework if we're talking about DC Superhero Girls. And I found these green beads. I cut them with floral wire cutters and then glued them to a rock to make kryptonite for a paperweight. And just in case Supergirl or Superman are under alien mind control again. Ugh. You'd be surprised how often that happens. 
Since her secret office is supposed to be a secret, when she is not contacting the Justice League, we can fold it down and use some fabric. I cut two large rectangles of blue, then one sheet of felt that are a half an inch wider than the box going all the way around. I've stacked the fabric good side to good side and then have the felt on top. Sew a straight line all the way around the edges, leaving an opening. Then I flip it between the two pieces of blue fabric. So the felt is on the inside. Sew the opening closed to make a mattress. I cut two more larger rectangles of fabric and add a layer of fleece. Sew around the edge, turn it inside out. Sew the opening closed to make a plush comforter. Add pillows to make the bed. Now I am going to use some leftover fabric, cut four panels, hem the edges, pleat them, and glue them next to the windows for curtains. Use a picture from the doll packaging. This is from Diana Prince and Hidden Sword. Cut out a rectangle. Use paper to add a map, then gold paper for a frame. To make artwork, I'm using repositionable glue so I can move it to another wall if I like. Glue trim above the windows for a valance that adds a touch of gold. Cut a red knit material, lay it across the bottom of the bed. For a throw, cut leftover cardboard into strips. Cover them with scrapbook paper to look like wood. I have six thin planks, one wide plank, and two short ones. Take two thin planks and glue them onto the wide one. Glue the short ones in front. Glue a thin plank to the front and to the back. Glue another one at the top and one going across the back. Add some buttons to make a weapons rack. Wait, what? A weapons rack? Well, she's Wonder Woman. She has a whole bunch of swords and stuff. We had to put them somewhere. And don't forget my shiny bracelets. Completing our Wonder Woman inspired room. And when playtime is over, carefully place the accessories inside the box and fold down the room until next time. And you're done. Happy crafting! This is me, I'm so royal. And you all wanna be round. Yeah, yeah you all wanna be round. Round a champion, a champion. This is me, I still on it. Cause you all wanna be loved. Yeah, you all wanna be loved. But a champion, a champion. Yeah, all I wanna do is just say, You don't understand how I play. I am on my way to win you over. No way, yeah. give a shout out to Palm Top Tiger. What's up? Sophie, what have you done to your room? Wait, where's all of Chloe's stuff? I don't know how you do this. This is my new craze, Wonder Woman. But what about the spaceships and the unicorns? Are those swords? Swords, unicorns, they're kind of the same thing. No, no they are not. Wonder Woman! You are not going to school dressed like that.